hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time, we looked at how a firm basis for knowledge can lead to the basic principles of logic, but we're still only looking at abstract principles so far. If we want to use any of this to even observe, much less draw conclusions about the world around us, we need some link between these simple logical principles and actual evidence. Fortunately, there are some simple moves we can make already, based on what we know. We can, for instance, state with full confidence that we exist. If we didn't exist, we would be unable to state that we exist. So doing so proves our existence. Any other conclusion would violate the law of non-contradiction that we discussed last episode. We can also demonstrate that we are able to think and draw conclusions by thinking about these things. If we lacked the ability to think, we would be unable to think about thinking. And again, the law of non-contradiction would be violated by any other conclusion. Furthermore, not only does this prove that we can think, it proves that certain things can be learned through our thoughts, which we can know are absolutely true. We know that because all of this information can be known to be absolutely true, even without referring to our senses or any experiment for evidence of it. So we can use our thoughts, and we can use our thoughts to grasp truth. However, this doesn't mean that all of our thoughts grasp truth, or that all thoughts can be reached through logic alone. There's no good logical reason to think either of those things. And that tells us something else about these methods we've been studying. While these tried and true methods lead to the only information that we can know with 100% certainty, they really don't lead to very much information when you get down to it, and nearly all of it is abstract in some way. Human beings can't survive by only acknowledging abstractions, which means that we need to believe some things that we don't have 100% certainty of in order to live. So let's review what we know so far. Number one. We have methods for finding truthful information, which we can be 100% certain of. Number two, we know that we should not believe falsehoods because they're not the truth. Number three, we know that truths that are known with 100% certainty are not enough. We need more information. Based on all of this information, we know that we need some means of telling the difference between less than certain truths and falsehoods. However, because less than certain truths are not certain, they might be falsehoods and we wouldn't necessarily know, meaning that there is no definite method to tell the difference. So we need a less than definite method instead. So, the concept of evidence arises, data which makes a conclusion more likely than it would have been without it. Evidence is not proof in the absolute sense, but it can be used to provide a less than definite reason to believe something is true, which is precisely what we need. Next time, what are the types of evidence? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.